and put it in front of the sink. That's where I'm going to do my filling and draining because it does not fit in the shower. So this is the Cuppet 26 pound washer. Um, it's a washing machine for apartments, for dorms, for small spaces like campers. If you have dog blankets, garage towels, things that you don't want to wash in your regular washer at home, I think this would be a great idea for that. Cloth diapers maybe. This looks like it holds a decent amount. Of stuff. It's got maybe a four foot cord or so. I don't know. I might be able to just do an extension cord, of course. It's not like it runs very long. The cord will wrap around there for storage. Um, this is the drain pipe on the side here. So I take this hook thing off as the way my kitchen sink is, of course. It's not really that shape. It's a little too wide. It does go here. There's a hanger spot for it. So, and uh, it's just got a simple light lid. It's got a nice spring to it. Same with this one. It's spring loaded a little bit. And this one has a second lid for safety. Uh, you can see the water where the water inlet can go. I'm just gonna use a bucket and fill it, but the water can go here. It came with another hose, this hose here. So this is meant to go on here. And then you can use this to fill it up in the sink. But I'm sure bucket's just fine because same with that. That is just an inlet to a little hose piece in there. This is nice. I found this. This is a lint trap here. And it just flips open. Oops. And it just flips open to be washed and rinsed. Agitator in the bottom. It's pretty decent size in there. Like, it's almost up to my armpit. It came past my elbow. My elbow is way down in there. Let's see here. So the wash has a timer. And it just goes 0 to 15 minutes. Just choose the time you want it to swish the water around. Then you switch this to drain. Let it drain into the sink. Fill this back up with clean water. Do it again until you're happy with the rinse. I think what they really suggest is that you wash it, spin it, Put your clothes back in, rinse them, put them back in, and spin them. Oh yeah, I did a towel last night. I did it on one minute spin after I did the wash. And one minute had it really dry, like just barely damp dry. So very happy with that part. It's got some handles on the side for maneuvering. And it's not that heavy. that sprays when you get your drain. Sometimes it seems to come in waves where it gets stronger. Switched it to drain. Ooh, drain that muddy water. I've 
perfect filling in the center. We're doing the final drain here. as you can. Okay. And you don't want to spin while you're draining, so as soon as that's done draining, then we'll turn the spinner on. That noise indicates we're done draining. Back to normal. And now we can do our spin out. So, however many minutes you think. So let's go hold two minutes and see what happens. That's pretty dry. All of them are pretty dry on a two minute spin out for four shirts and two tank tops. That's quick. All right, now I just need to find a laundry basket to put these in. So yeah, these are halfway dry. Mm, halfway um, dry. Mm, man's pants and my flannel in there. Push it down, flat as you can. All right, second half. Another, uh, go another two minutes. So really, the load only takes as long as each timer and as many rinses as you need. So you can see the height. So this water is going to stay here. So I got to make sure when I'm done, I don't just let that fall on the floor. That's why I got the blue bucket. That's done already. And uh, that looks like a load of laundry, y'all. That is so awesome. Oh yeah, his pants are nice. And just moist. That That's really it. These will hang dry beautifully. <sighs> my flannel's clean, yes. For my first load of laundry in it, inside a camper, I can't beat it because everything else equates to a bucket and me stomping on it or using a washboard and a ringer or some sort of other manual labor your camper your van your apartment your dorm wherever you're living if you have access to power and water and a drain yes yes yep if you can't fit a washer and have a regular washing machine absolutely Let's drain this last little bit. I'm just going to make sure that I don't let this hose turn upside down till it gets to here. Okay. And then I am going to Hit. And then I'm just going to give it a quick drain and let it see there's still this much water in there. 
for sure. But you can hear it's struggling. So. You have to milk it when it's this low. <laughs> kind of let it roll down to the bottom of the hose. And then help it out. Find my little piece again. Put this back in here like so. You dink, you dink. We just twist it a little. There we go. All right, there we go. Hang it back up. I got quite a bit of water in there, so that would not have been fun on my floor if I had let that drain fall to the ground. So definitely make sure you have a low point for your drain to come out. In the basket for size on the washer is about the same width actually if i put it up here it's about the same width just maybe a little bit bigger just this edge though i highly recommend this cup it 26 pound i did a load of laundry in my camper kitchen it was amazing